Good afternoon, Rushmere, and welcome to Mr. Neary's challenge of the day. Now, today is going to require really good thinking power and memory within our challenge because you are going to be set a challenge or given instructions by your parents or even a brother or sister or anybody in the household that are able to give you instructions. But most importantly, you're only going to follow some instructions. Now, I know it's not a very nice day, so again, you can do this indoors if you want to. And all you've got to do is you've got to start by jogging on the spot. Now, we'll set a timer because I love to time things just to see how you've got on. So set a timer when we say go, and then see how long you can last. Because what's going to happen is the rules are this simple. You've got to be jogging on the spot, just nice and easy, like so. And then your partner or your instructor is going to shout out a mixture of different instructions from jump, which means you've got to jump, and then keep going. Twist, number two, which you've got to twist, and then keep going. Freeze, which means you've got to freeze, solid still. And last but not least, touch, which means you've got to touch the floor. So we've got jump, twist, freeze, and touch. Those four are the instructions you've got to follow. But there is a really difficult part about this challenge. And that is that if they shout any other instruction to confuse you, then it means they're going to be trying to get you out. So instead of shouting jump, if they say up, you have to carry on going. Up means nothing. Okay, so if they shout jump, jump. If they shout up, don't do it. That's only a bit of a trick, okay? If you're jogging and they shout out twist, then you've got to twist. But if they shout out turn and you turn, then you're out. Okay, so turn means carry on going. Okay, if they shout out down, that means do nothing. If they shout out touch, we've got to touch the floor. Okay, so you can see there are some examples of the words that you can use to try and trick your children into doing the wrong or following the wrong instruction and getting them out of the game. So there are only the same four rules or instructions that I've given you at the beginning that they have to follow. So maybe write them down in your resource book so they remember them and then see if you can trick them with any other words or any, as the examples that I've given you today. But they've got to keep jogging whilst they're doing it. And for example, when they shout out freeze, remember they've got to freeze and then you shout go and they'll carry on. But if you shout out stop and they stop, then they're out because stop might be the trick word that you're looking for. Okay, so think of some trick words. Make sure that they know the four most important instructions that they must follow and turn it into a really fun and exciting game for you and your family to enjoy that you can play all together in or outdoor, uh, inside or out of the home. So take care and I'll see you again soon. Enjoy.